Hey guys, it's Helen. So for today's video, I'm super excited because I'm going to be reviewing the Fenty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. Um, on the website, it says it's a light to medium coverage, blends and blurs to instant perfection, light as air, 25 flexible shades for all. So I went and picked it up. The lady in the store helped me match it up to my skin, so I'm super excited. Um, something about me, I don't really like to wear foundation. I don't like the heavy feeling, so I was looking for a skin tint, and this feels like it's the perfect match. So let's open her up. Uh, I got this in a shade 17. I, this is my first Fenty product, so I'm kind of super excited because let's see what's the hype. So here it is, out of the box. Looks like a drop. And this is 1.8 fluid ounces. And it says to shake well before using. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna moisturize my face before we apply anything on. Uh, my skin texture is dry, very dry. And I noticed that when I put on foundation or any type of makeup without like moisturizing my face it kind of just sits on the top instead of like soaking into my skin and like looking like makeup instead of it looking like a mask so yeah i also heard that this doesn't need any sort of primer and that i don't need a brush and then you're supposed to use your hands so Let's try it. Now, oh, you twist it open. Interesting. This is what the tip looks like. It's like um, a drop kind of thing. Ooh, I'm kind of nervous. Why am I nervous? Let's put, I'm gonna put my hair back for this. And I'm gonna get close to the camera. I'm gonna get up close and personal. Shade 17. This is the shade against my skin. Um, I, I don't wanna put it on my neck, but let's see. The lady did this for me. I'm so terrible at matching things to my skin. It's the reason why I'll buy things and just return it because it doesn't match. So let's do. Is that enough? Okay, well, let's do one layer. Um, and. Off the bat, okay, I brought my mirror because I can't really tell what the hell is going on. Let's see, off the bat, I can't really, I can't tell the difference to be honest. Wait, maybe let me watch myself like apply it. On camera, I can't tell. It blends really nicely into my my darker part of my face because I have like this uh, so okay like the perimeters of my head or my face is like always darker and which makes it hard because I'll get these foundations and it'll look ashy on my face but it'll like it'll match my t-zone area because it's lighter but this I see that it evens me out and it doesn't it evens my skin out it doesn't make me look ashy which i already love it also feels like nothing um it feels like i'm applying moisturizer like the moisturizer i just put on it feels like that see i put it on my um chin and just blend it in and i got rid of my well didn't really get rid i guess i could build it up maybe let's see on my scar It's sort of buildable, but then again, it's light to medium coverage, so that's what I asked for. 
I don't really like full coverage. I just want, I want the no makeup look. That's like my thing, especially for summer, especially in quarantine. I'm not going anywhere. So there's like no need for like, there's just no need for a full face, especially for me. That's just my personal preference. So I love it. It literally just looks like I'm not wearing anything. But it also evens me out, which is my issue. I have discoloration in my face. And it makes me look glowy. I feel like before I looked dead in my skin, like I had no color. And now I feel like it just added color to my face. I feel like I'm cohesive. My head and my like, body. I love this. This is definitely gonna be my go-to during the summer. You should, I would literally recommend Anyone who's looking for a skin tint, something easy, super lightweight to put on, but still give you like a blurring and like your skin, but better type of finish. So this is definitely the way to go. Another thing I wanted to try on camera, cause why not, is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. Oops, I got the travel size because um, just wanted to try it out and see. This is what it looks like straight out of the box small this retailed for i think 16 dollars to travel size the full size was 29 dollars yeah and this is the extreme version so i guess this is supposed to be it says 97 percent delivers instant results 97 percent said lips feel moisturized 93 percent said lips look fuller and more plump uh, the difference between I think this the extreme version and the normal version is that this is a long-term lip plumper So maybe it lasts longer it says lip injunction extremes breakthrough formula delivers both immediate and long-term plumping advanced lip volume volumizing Technologies apply day and night to naturally and dramatically hydrate. So I guess that over time This will make your lips um, bigger. I don't know. That's what they claim it to say. So let's just Shut up and try it. I'm not a really a lip gloss kind of person because I feel like it looks stupid on your lips. So it feels, it feels really good. Like it's not sticky. It feels like chapstick kind of. Oh, this like the scent is like something from my childhood that I just can't. Like, it smells like sweet medicine, like when you're sick and it was like that thick orange medicine. I don't even know what it's called, but it smells like that. That's a, that's like a thing I have with um, lip glosses is that they choose these scents that are just overly sweet. Smells like medicine, reminds me of the dentist. Ooh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the plumping. I'm feeling the effects. Let's see. Is it gonna get more tingly? I first glance, it's just normal lip gloss. I really like it because I just love how it feels. It just feels like I'm wearing chapstick, but gives the glossy effect, and it's not too glossy. I really like how it looks on camera too. So the Ease Drop retails for $29.50 on the Fenty website. So it's not that bad. It's definitely one of the, I don't like to spend money on makeup, but I definitely would buy this. I feel like this, I'm gonna be using this all the time. And I also want to look more into Fenty and try out their concealers. I don't know why I didn't look into Fenty earlier like rihanna come on helen like get with it everyone has been raving about fenty this whole time even like at school i remember everybody with the lip glosses and i was just like didn't care for it but i'm here now better late than ever right so my lips it just feels hot do they look like they're burning I can't even really tell like what is going on with my lips like I can't is it getting bigger 
I like how they look regardless. Like, I'm gonna keep this. But my skin looks so good. It looks so glossy. Uh, I like, I love the skin tint. Like, you need it. Get it. This is your sign. Get it. I love it. It literally looks like I'm not wearing makeup. It looks like my skin, which that's what I like. It looks like my skin, but that my skin has like a, a filter on it. Like, that's... Period, I love that. I'm staring at myself. I'm staring at myself in the viewfinder. I'm staring at myself in the mirror. Like, I'm just staring at myself at this point. I definitely think the lip plumper is working because I feel that my lips look more pinker than usual like like they look like they're kind of burning but like in a good way yeah they feel like they're burning but in a good way like it looks plump the feeling is not like overly tingling like that i thought it would be like i thought it'd be like a burn like i thought it'd be like in pain but it's just like hot a hot sensation on your lips so i like the lip gloss, the lip injection. I love the ease drop. So I feel like this was so successful. I feel like every time I buy makeup, I'm not really, like I don't feel fulfilled, but today, definitely 10 out of 10 across the board. So thanks for watching, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, follow all my socials, they'll be linked down below and thanks. Okay, bye.